Hello, welcome to this Technic Force tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss the campaign functionality of Video Cedar. The campaign function takes the sum total of everything we've learned in Video Cedar so far and brings it all together to harness the full power of Video Cedar. To start, it's a good idea to go to the Settings tab and adjust your campaign default settings. First of all, we want to make sure that the box Auto Add Uploaded Videos to Promotion has the check mark. Next, we'll set the gap between video uploads to a reasonable gap. We don't want to bombard the video upload sites too quickly so that our videos get blocked. Next, we can set the gap between promotions posts. Similar to the video uploads, we don't want to bombard the social sharing sites, but also we don't want to bombard our followers. So let's set this to a slightly longer time span so that people don't get annoyed by hearing from us too much. Next, we want to set the time that Video Cedar will upload and post between. So let's set this for daytime hours from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Once we're happy with our settings, we can click Save. Now let's head to the Campaigns tab. Here in the bottom corner, let's add a new campaign. You'll want to give it a name relevant to your campaign. In this case, I'll just call it Tutorial. And then save and proceed. Our new campaign appears here on the page, and we can right click this to change the name of our campaign. And save. Or if we left click, it'll open up our campaign dashboard. This is a brand new campaign, so there's not much data to be shown here. So let's go to the Upload Accounts, and we'll specify which upload accounts we want to add to. So click the button here, Add Upload Accounts. Select all the video sharing sites that you want to access in this campaign, and select. It's easy to customize the campaign by removing any video sharing sites that we want. Let's say we want to remove Facebook. or add them back in again just by clicking Add Account. Next, we want to select our Promotion Accounts. So let's click on the Promotion Accounts tab. Down in the bottom corner, we'll add Promotion Account. We can start with just one if we want, or we can pick and choose and add various Promotion Accounts, or we can add all. and then select. Now that we've chosen our upload and promotion accounts for this campaign, it's time to go to the Uploaded Videos tab. And we'll just go to the bottom corner here and click Add Video. Click the Browse button, select a video from our computer, click Open, and go to Next. Here we'll give this a title, We'll give this some tags and a description, and then save and proceed. And that's now been queued according to our schedule settings. So now we can go back and we can add another video. Again, just browse, add, open, next, title, tags, and description, save and proceed. That's been added to the queue. And we'll just do one more, add, browse, select, next, title, tags, description, save and proceed. Now we can go back to our campaign dashboard. We can also use Video Cedar campaigns to promote videos that we've already uploaded. For example, let's go to our reports. And we'll scroll down and find a video that was uploaded to YouTube. Here is an upload that was successful. So let's select this one and we'll scroll across and we'll click the redirect link to go to that page. 
and we'll copy the URL. Head back to Video Seeder, back to our Campaigns tab, back to our Campaign, and go to Promoted Videos. Now we can promote this video, and we'll paste in the URL that we just copied. We'll give it a title and some tags, and go Next. Now, because the various social sharing websites have different character counts that they allow for the descriptions, Video Seeder lets us put in short, medium, and long descriptions. So we'll just add in some short descriptions there. And just a reminder, I'm only using tests here for the tutorial, but make sure you use good descriptions because this is going to be part of your SEO that will help get your video found. So when you're ready, click Save and Proceed. And that video that we have previously uploaded has now been added to our promotion queue as per our campaign schedule. Let's go back. Now we can look at our campaign queue. And this shows all the various platforms that have uploads scheduled, as well as all the platforms that have promotions scheduled. We can also go to our campaign report. We can see that all these items are currently in the queue. If we want to override the default campaign settings, we can set settings specific to this campaign here in the Campaign Settings tab. And that's how easy it is to supercharge your video uploads and promotions using Video Seeder campaigns. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching.